So medical debt counts historically for half of the negative marks collectively on people's credit reports. Medical debt is this huge burden on the American people, and there are a number of reasons why medical debt has become such a huge issue. But one thing in particular that you've heard me talk about is the medical industry in the United States fights tooth and nail against every attempt for price disclosure before services are rendered, and people get into all kinds of harm's way. And wanted to mention to you that one of the areas that continues to burden people is ambulances. The ambulance industry is the number one source of unreimbursed surprise bills now in the United States. And when Congress in its wisdom passed the No Surprises Act that helped so much with surprise medical bills and no longer puts you and me in the middle as the insurance company and the provider fight about a bill. If you do certain things in most cases, you can no longer be faced with a massive surprise bill for some provider who supposedly is out of network, even though you did everything you were supposed to do before uh, surgery or something like that to certify in network or in an emergency situation and you go to a facility that's in your plan, you can't then be billed these outrageous out-of-plan charges in almost all cases now. And that's why the No Surprises Act has been such a wonderful benefit to consumers because we were just being cynically taken advantage of by medical providers and by insurance companies prior. But the ambulance thing remains such a problem, and so many people have heard about it, that this is terrible, but a lot of people who need to be rushed to the hospital and could benefit from the assistance of trained professionals in transport to a hospital are now, believe it or not, using Uber and Lyft to go to the hospital because what they've heard about what a friend or family member has faced with a multi, multi, multi thousand dollar bill for an ambulance. And this is terrible. Imagine somebody dies on the way to the hospital because they were so worried about the ambulance charge that they took an Uber or Lyft. I remember my uh, middle child, my daughter, Steffi, was uh, doing because she's thrifty like I am, she was doing one of those shared ride Ubers. And they stopped to pick up a couple, and the woman was in severe medical distress. And they were going to the hospital emergency room, and they were afraid of going in an ambulance. I, I mean, you hear Steffi talk about this. And so... Steffi said, just take me with him to the hospital, skip my stop, and she got another ride because she wanted that woman, you know, in that wow. hospital for care. I mean, that's how much a problem the ambulance thing is. And let's face it, members of Congress don't understand this stuff. They have the best gold-plated medical care of anybody in the United States, other than maybe the president or vice president. The members of Congress have voted in benefits for themselves for health care that are extraordinary. And so they don't experience any of these things. But it absolutely is something we need an amendment to the No Surprises uh, Act, or we need a new specific monoline law that deals with these ambulance charges. Because for people to put themselves at risk of dying because of these surprise multi-thousand dollar ambulance bills. This is wrong and needs to be fixed. Again, this is the ambulance provider and the insurers both being cynical and sticking the consumer with an unknown charge that only appears later. Um, there are now a number of nonprofits that are doing the craziest thing because 
so much medical ends up never being paid and then the people's credit gets ruined who don't pay those medical bills. And there are these nonprofits that go out as debt buyers and buy people's medical debts that are seen as uncollectible and buy them for like half a penny on the dollar, a penny on the dollar, whatever. And then they wipe out the bad debt for the consumer and clean their credit. That's awesome. And that is, uh, and that is the free market doing an amazing thing to improve people's lives.